Hi, welcome to tutorial from Robojax. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use this TTP224 capacitive touch uh, module with Arduino so you can control a relay. So using a relay, you can connect it to an AC source. For example, today we are going to test this connection and turn it on and off with touch this light. So I'm using this module to touch it and with this I will turn on and off this light. The code will be provided at the description or at robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. So let's get started. So I've, I've set this up such that when I press the this is connected to channel one. If I press channel one the light will go on and if I remove my hand the light will go off. So I've connected this through Arduino and Arduino is controlling also all the channels are working. Channel 2, that's channel 3, it goes 0, channel 4, 0. Normally they are all on, but when I touch it, I see channel 1, 0, but the light is on. Channel 2 is touched, that's 0, channel 3 and 4. That doesn't matter, it's just for uh, restoration purpose, but the relay will always need to be zero when you touch it so that's why i've selected this this way because the relay configuration is like that and i've connected this to the common one of the wires and then connected the other one that normally open so, so let me explain the ac bulb here so this is a table light that is connected to the wall outlet and then the wire goes and will be turned on but i have disconnected one of these two wires here so let me show you. So I've just cut this wire from here. Now this can be connected to the uh, relay. The relay job is to just connect it. So it will be on and disconnected will be off. I've just twisted them and then put some solder. So this can be inserted into a uh, connector with a screw. So we have one, two, three, four area for touch with a finger. So it's capacitive touch, which means the capacitive uh, charge on the plate will change as a result it will be detected. So uh, for each of these, we have pin one, two, three, and four. These four are uh, representing these four buttons. So when you touch this, these wires will go high or they go in five volts. The module works with 2.2 to 5.5 volts. So with Arduino, because we have 5 volts, we will connect it. So this is VCC or 5 volts, and this is a ground or negative wire. So you connect those two, and these four are the output. This module can be used independently without Arduino. You can control directly a relay module without any um, Arduino. So I'm going to show you how you can control this relay without the module Arduino and also with the Arduino because with the Arduino you can do some precise time controlling or other thing. For example, if this is touched, uh, keep that output for three seconds on or something. So you can do a lot of other things, but I'm going to show you how you can control in both ways. Relay has also this relay module. This is just, just a simple relay module. This has three pins. So this pin here is for the five volts and this is for the ground or negative wire. And this is the control. So the signal comes here and the relay will go on. Now relay is independently totally isolated here. It has a contact. So if you connect two wires here and here, this is normally connected. So this is the common and this is normally open in O. So when you want to turn something on, connect the two wires here so normally they are open when the control signal comes this will energize the magnetic coil and then these two wires will be connected if you want to turn off something when the touch happened then connect it here so they are normally connected or on and the when you touch it it will be disconnected so let me just show you quickly a So when I touch this, when I touch the probe, so you will see that there is a buzzing. So these two normally connected and these two normally open. So when control signal comes, these will be connected. 
now I'm connecting these two uh, wires to the relay so this is a uh, the two of the connection are here normally open and common so I'm going to connect it the nor to the normally open and common So now, okay, now this is the power. The power cable goes this way, two wires. This wire was supposed to go directly. I've just cut it here, connect it to the relay. This five volts relay just needs five volts. So I've connected it to Arduino with a five volt, but you can connect it to any other source because Arduino is convenient from USB. I can get five volts. So that doesn't matter. Now, this is the input. So we have five volts and we have ground and then the last one is input. So this uh, input is for, uh, so this input is supposed to be low. Or it should be zero volts so the light will be turned on. So let me now connect this to one of the grounds. So. So that's the light. This goes zero volts if you connect it to zero volts or if you set it in Arduino and say uh, that pin, let's say pin 10 out uh, to be low, the light will go on. So now I have connected the relay to five volts and also I've connected this one, uh, the touch module into five volts. So if I touch the pens, you see that fourth light, third, second, first will turn on. Now the relay, if I connect it, it's low and the light will be on. So when I touch it, the, the one, the light will go off because the relay is prepared in reverse. Okay, so the two, third, and fourth is not connected. So the same will happen for all of those. Now, if I want to do the, the opposite, when I touch it, it should be on. Then we have to connect it to the other uh, wire. Now I have connected this one to the common. The, the other one is to normally connect it. Normally connected means that this module is keeping the with a low voltage. So this module is keeping the relay uh, normally connected the light is off now because the relay is energized and it's connected so now let me touch the module and see you see pay attention to the color when I touch it this is on but the green is on there the green will go off and the light will be, uh, go on because I have connected it the opposite way so if you want to connect this wire remove it and put it here, never change the middle. So the outside will affect the result of a relay. So just connect that one into this and then the light will go the opposite. So here is the circuit. Um, this is the touch module, the plus five volt is connected. So I got five volts from Arduino into this line. So this is five volts. And then from the ground also, you see I got f ground here. So five volt is connected to the module. And then this, these are the four touch pads. So that is the output one, two, three, and four. Output one is connected to two. Three is, con uh, two is output two is connected to three. Three is connected to four of the Arduino. And then fourth is connected to the fifth. I did not start with one because there are some issues with one because that's for TX and for other purposes so I started from two. So this this will receive the input and the output is connected to pin 10, 11, 12 and 13 respectively. So channel one will be in one, two, three and four. And then I've connected the relay to this wire. So these four points are empty for me so I can connect it. So relay is currently connected to one of those wires so this is a pen from relay this um, brown and i've connected it to that led so 
the ride goes on set this loop delay 200 a millisecond the 200 millisecond is the number of times that uh, the screen can read for example if I touch this you see this is just going up and up so if I press 4 you see 4 is going up so how fast it reads is this one so the smaller this number the faster this will read so 200 milliseconds was for me good if you want to change it you can just change in the setup also I have set up the this for serial monitor so it can be printed here so that's 9600 and then the pen 10 11 12 and 13 are the output to connect it to LED or a relay and then pin 2, 3 and 4 and 5 are input so this is done inside the setup and now inside the loop this is connected to pin 2 we say read the digital which is digital read 2 if there is a touch then print this button 1 touch as you can see here this is printed and also we say pin set 10 uh, pen set the pen 10 to low because the relays uh, need that to be low and then wait for LD millisecond which is 200 and above if there is no any signal gen then just set the output to high this is needed because if you touch something and you release it it automatically goes here so you need to have this one so now that was for pen 2 we have, I have the same copy four times and I've changed it to 3 and then 11 and I changed it to 4 and 12 and changed it to 5 and 13 and that's it, it continues like that application that you need to press this so the light is on but when you release your hand you want the light to be on for certain seconds let's, let's say for 5 seconds so you touch it once but it stays 5 seconds on and then goes off now the relays, I have one relay if I have 4 relays for all of them but I do one example here and it will work for all so if you want uh, when a touch is detec detected then we can set this one to say for 3000 milliseconds so just put 3000 that means 3000 milliseconds so let me upload it so when I touch this just pay attention I'm just touching it it's for on for 3 seconds and then it will, it will go off so this way you can independently uh, control any light in any way that you wish. So the only thing that you do is this is for uh, button 1. For button 2 just set your own time. How long you want to keep it on. So as soon as it is detected it will stay. This was a brief introduction on how to use the TTP224 capacitive touch with relay to turn on an AC load. Uh, thank you for watching. The code will be available in the description. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe.